welcome back to my channel. This isn't really a Christmas theme box, um, but it's Christmas time, so I figured why not uh, unbox it with a little bit of a Christmas setting. Um, but yeah, I'm behind on my unboxing. This one seems really close to being post as the other one, but that's because I was behind on unboxing. This one was for December, or this one was for November. I can't remember. But if you don't know, this is an, another unboxing of the Wizarding Trunk, and this one's theme is the Ministry of Magic. Um, if I'm being quite honest, I was going to skip this one, because uh, I don't really, I don't know. I didn't think I'd really like anything in the Ministry of Magic box for some reason. I don't really care for the ministry I guess <laughs> and so I tried to skip this one but I accidentally was gonna skip the one I wanted which is the next one and so I I messed up and was like well oops we, we already paid for it so oh well it's here um, and let's see what we get let's see if it's gonna change my mind and um, tell me I was wrong <laughs> So let's get to unboxing. Here is the box. It is purple and it's got a bunch of just like stamps on it. This is like confidential and um, MRC on it and Department of Magical something. A bunch of like official stamps on it. And then on the back, it's the Ministry of Magic. Like little emblem so that's our box so let's go ahead and open it so here's first look I'm gonna move some things around but I hope you can hear me I don't use microphones and I probably should get one I actually have one but it doesn't work so I hope you can hear me <laughs> let's push the flowers over all right you get to watch me like dig into it from this angle you're a lot higher than you normally are so uh let's go in i see this right here let's pull this out oh there's something on top of it oh. didn't i just say i wasn't gonna be very excited for it and literally one of the first things i pull out i'm like <laughs> what is that i think this is a wand holder in this little plastic thing and I think I said while I was at fair that I wanted a wand holder. Mr. Ma, the cats are going to be messing with the Christmas tree. I think I said while I was at fair I wanted a wand holder because if you, if you know, you watch the other videos, I was saying I was going to be a Christmas witch. And with the new wand we got in um, the Keep Collecting, the second Keep Collecting box, I was like, I don't really have anywhere to put it. I need a wand holder. I think, I think this is a wand holder. And it's going to go, my, my belt has a bunch of like metal, like O-rings kind of thing. And this is going to snap on there so well. And so, that's what I'm assuming it is. It is a, is it, oh, my eyes, the light, I don't know if this is green or if this is just black and my eyes are betraying me. I think it might be green. Um, but yes, it has that, it's got a little, oof. it is a hole all the way down and then You've got like the Ministry of Magic like emblem on there. Okay, so I do like this because it's something I actually needed. <laughs> and now let's go into this pretty box here, which I was gonna go in first. Uma! It says Unlocking Magic. Ooh, this is gonna be like a, I don't know. That's a nice little box. Let's see what's inside. Oh, oh! Okay, so it's a key. Like, you, we've been getting keys, you know. But why is this one in a nice box? Is this, like, a new thing they're going to do? Unlocking Magic, is that their series of keys? Um, I like this one. I don't always keep the keys. I normally resell them. I think there's only one key I've kept, and it was a Slytherin key. And I really do love that key that's on my, like, everyday bag key. And I do like this one. It's... Red, it's got red in it, which is my favorite color. So it says ministry at the bottom. The bottom part is an M, and then you got like the M symbol on it. So that's what that looks like. Almost makes me think of like a triton. <laughs> but that's the ministry key. That was actually really pretty. I do kind of like that one. I don't know. 
have to decide whether or not I keep it. <laughs> All right, the next item in here, let's go for this brown, brown box. <laughs> this is our potion. This is our potion, and we got a liquid. I thought they wouldn't be doing liquids for like winter time. Ooh, ooh, very fitting. Very fitting. It is truth serum because you know, of course, they give you truth serum when they bring you in to interrogate you at the Ministry of Magic. Um, I really love this. Three drops per dose. That is so pretty. Okay, so I haven't shaken it yet, but I love. There's the 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 graphic, the little print on the, the label, but I love the like, it like you can see through it, but I like that it's kind of like milky and foggy. I like it just like that. Let's shake it. It doesn't change much. It's just a little bit more glitter and swirl. Get my face out of frame so it focuses on that. I like this. Very simple and I like the just like slight fogginess to it we haven't had a liquid potion in a while um I was missing them next thing let's go for this a big box on top move some of the stuff in around is this like i think this is the box they used in the in the other thing that i thought was like malfoy manor but i guess it's like the ministry of magic i don't know Anyways, it's like a wooden box. We got styrofoam, so let's see what's in here. Um, what's this? Oh my gosh. This is gorgeous. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is a gorgeous little statue there. Look at this little figure statue. Got all these like bronze gold wizards and witches on there. Centaur, little house elf. Um, and there's the back with the full centaur there. That is really pretty. I actually really like this. All right, let's move on to the white box. Ooh, ooh, what is this? Oh, I can see it. I can see it. it's a telephone booth. Oh my gosh, and it's like transparent. So this is, is this metal? This is super cute. So this is metal. It's a little piggy bank, you see a little slit. But you can see inside, it's got little glass doors that go up to the back. And it's just like a little piggy bank. That is actually really cute. I do love that. Very fitting. Another entrance way to get into the Ministry of Magic. Um, that is really cute. I actually really do like that. That's going on my shelf. I'll start storing my change in here. Next item. We've got a purple box here that says the Wizarding Trunk. It's got little finger holes. Let's pull this open. <laughs> Another item I really like. So I have like a collection of waxes and wax seals and wax stamps. And I have I have a whole little collection. So this does make me a little happy to add to my collection. We've got some purple wax now and in, in here that you can just light has a wick on it and you let it drip. These aren't my favorite. They take a little forever and then they start drying. And I, I don't feel like I get the most even press. I don't know. I like the little, little, the little ones that you put in the spoon amount so that I can just all pour it all together. Um, but we got some purple to match, you know, the mystery. And then this is what I'm excited for. One, we got a little mini, little mini handle. But this stamp is pretty huge. So here's our stamp. This is not gonna do well because it is reflective. But it says, oh, I gotta read it backwards uh, from the desk of the minister that's what it says from the desk of the minister um cute definitely gonna use this stamp um i love that item and this box is a little too nice <laughs> 
this is a really nice box. <laughs> do you keep your boxes like if they're nice like that? Because I kind of, I kind of do. <laughs> All right. Ooh. Ooh. This is cute. So apparently we work for the Ministry of Magic. Um, and then this is our little, mm, I work for the Ministry of Magic. This is Magical Law Department Head. Ooh, let's see if I can get the to show up there without it glaring. Got a little um, dragon on the top. And then on the back, you've got like a clip. So you can clip it into your pants or, you know, wherever you want to clip it. This is actually a giant pen. This can come out like that, and then you just have your metal, and you it's its just a giant pen, so you can pin it. It's actually pretty heavy, so you can pin it on you if you want to, um, but that's so cool that you can take it out. Let me put this back, and then it just goes back in. You put the pin in, close it, and then I'm assuming these little things are here to cover it from getting damaged. And the pin from getting damaged and then you just close it all back up and then you got your badge that's pretty neat i like that all right we've got some pins in here you know i love my pins so this one is pretty cool i do oh this is a coin i thought it was a pin so on the back of this coin it says issued to senior ministry officials and it's like the little fireplace And the fire's green because you're using your flu powder, you know, to transport yourself. Um, that's actually a really nice coin. I kind of wish that was a pen. Because that's a really pretty design on the front. And then... And then here's the back of it. But yeah, that's actually a pretty nice coin. Alright, then we've got our pen. So let's open this up. <laughs> I'm assuming this is supposed to be serious. Well, the light shifting. Um, which is a little sad because you know what happens down in the bottom. You know what happens to Sirius there. Um, but I'm assuming that's serious right there behind the little rock. But yeah, no, this is pretty cute and a little sad. <laughs> but I'm liking the portrait pens, even though this is not like in a frame. I still like this one. I think putting him in a frame for the ministry box would be a little weird. It's more of like a... <laughs> it's more of like a tombstone, if you will. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So book covers I am going to pull it out to show you these will definitely be going um, I'll be selling these on my Kari because I don't own any of the UK books or the house books for these to go on so there's no sense in me keeping them because I'm not going to go out and buy them um, but I am going to I do I am interested to see what the design of the book cover is and I'm going to show you this is an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries oh that's so cool I do like this one so this is what this one looks like it's like purple is that purple it's like a purple and green leather like purple leather like look and then like a green design so yeah gold foiling that was really pretty as well all right, next, um, we, all we have left is paper products. So let's get into it. I think it's for this box that they had put um, like a message out, like an email out saying that there was an item missing, that there is an item missing because, is there a cat behind me? What are you doing? What are you doing little girl? They did send out an email saying that there was an item missing. I believe it's for this box. I will make a correction if it's not. Um, because the shipment 
of this the you know the full shipment of the item before they could put it into the boxes came and it was wet so it ruined oh i think it's a creature page i think it's another creature page um that we're missing but i think they got ruined and so you if you subscribe for you know the next box then they'll add it to the next box and you'll get that if not then they'll just ship it out to you so i thought i would mention that before we get into everything at the end so the first thing i see this one is huge look at that it's like a little to-do list like a little memo pad i say little but look this is like a full sheet of paper like printer paper it says um enter departmental memo monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday date to do priorities notes potion hydration shopping owls to send that is actually really cute I wonder if I can make stick some big old magnets on it and I can put that on the fridge because that's actually kind of nice. I don't know. I like that. And there's quite a bit of pages in here. It's pretty thick. Um, but yeah, no, I like that. Let me... I'm trying to show you. I don't know if you can see it. So I do like that. It's pretty nice. All right, next thing I see in here, we've got another like folder we've got a folder last time um i don't remember what box it was but we did get a folder of like files so this one is file name it says blood report department magical registration commission and then you have a file number i gotta let the dog back in but he can wait i'm almost done and in the back we've got same Ministry of Magic symbol. So let's open up this file. We've got a bunch of little papers in here. So we've got this. It says wand registration. Fill that out if you want about like what is your wand made out of wood and whatever. And then again, the extra detail in the back. Always, always good with some extra details. And then this is what is this? Counterfeit. I don't know, but this is a family tree that says counterfeit on it. So I don't really know. Here's the design on the back. Yeah, I don't I don't know. If this is supposed to be like a file or investigating somebody, I don't know. And then this one is the Magical Registration Commission Blood Status Report. Ooh, so this is like marks and scars. So I guess this is like if you're somebody's coming in and you're about to file about them and so you know where are you from are you pure blood are you you know whatever what's your lineage so you're gonna write down all the files on there so that's what that looks like so i think maybe that's what that is i'm not sure so we got a little file report there and then we've got a um magistration identity card this is what the front looks like. If it, yep. That's what the front looks like. And then the back, if found, please hand in at any magical registration office. This identity card must be carefully um, preserved. You may, you may need it under conditions of magical emergencies. You must not lose it or allow it to be spirited away, cursed or hexed. If Nevertheless, it is lost, stolen, or cursed. You must report the fact in person at any local magical registration office. So that's the back. Very official. Let's look at the inside. Oh. Well, when you first open it, you've got like a little sill here that says like department, you know, magical, whatever. So yeah, this is just your identity card. Put a photo there, your name, the department description you know it's just like you know ident identification so that's pretty cute so that's everything in the box let's get into my favorites and least favorites my favorite items those are probably these three the lawn holder mainly because I, I've been wanting one um, I really like the potion and course wax stamps these two would probably be <gasps> these two would probably be my most favorite but i've really been in the need of one of these so that's why this one's up here what do you want little girl um my least favorite i think is a cop out if i say the book cover because i don't buy the book cover so that's why it would be my my least favorite 
Um, but I think my least favorite is probably, um, I don't always do this a lot, but it would be the paper products because I'm not going to do anything with this. I'm probably going to give it to my little cousin who has just got into Harry Potter and so now I'm just pushing the stuff on her, you know? Um, and the identification card. I think they're cute. They're really pretty if you collect paper products, if you have a place to display them. I don't really have a place to display them, so that's why they're my least favorite. So with that, let's get into our cheat sheet. So number one, an unspeakable guide to magical mysteries. This cover fits the second UK house edition book. Number two, magic travel coin. Only senior ministry officials may travel directly into the ministry. Keep this coin on you at all times. Number three, Manicor and Mer Person Creature page. So this is the page, yeah, that we're missing. A page torn from Magical Creatures A to Z, written by the Wizarding Trunk and designed by Wizardry Workshop. Number four, Daily Memo Pad. Perfect for planning your day at work, home, or school. Number five, Portrait Pen. The newest portrait pen perfect for your growing collection. I have a growing collection and I really love my portrait pin collection, so keep up the portrait pins. <laughs> Number six, wand holster. All wands must be properly secured during working hours. Number seven, work ID card. This ID card must be completely filled out before your first day of work. Number eight, truth serum. Veritas means truth, and that's exactly what this serum forces you to tell. This virtual, this virtually clear potion is almost undetect undetectable and highly regulated, followed by pure blood apothecary. Number nine, ministry key. This key allows access into the minister's office. Number 10, minister's wax seal. Documents stamped from the seal come directly from the minister. Number 11, Phone book coin bank, perfect for holding both magical and non-magical coins. Number 12, entry status. This status welcomes, oh, <laughs> entry statue. <laughs> this statue welcomes all visitors. There are no statue. The department head badge. Congratulations on your promotion to magical law department head. <laughs> And number 14, magical documents. These documents must be completed while questioning those who may be lying about their magical abilities. So just what I thought, like you're investigating somebody. Um, so yeah, that's everything for this box. The next bi-monthly is professors. That's the one I'm excited for because I hope there's like Snape stuff in there because like Snape is like one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, this is the back of the cheat sheet. But yeah, let me know what you think of that box and I hope you all have a wonderful, magical holiday season, a Merry Christmas, a whatever it is for you. I hope it's grand and I hope you enjoy your yourself, your break if you have one because um, I probably won't be posting again until after Christmas. Um, but with that, I hope you like this video and if you did please give it a like and let me know what you think about this box um was it worth it <laughs> was it worth me not skipping it on accident <laughs> and with that i'll see you next time bye